you can relax. Colleen and Eric have a podcast. The world is scary and we're locked in our home. But now we have big microphones. So you can relax. That's the name of our podcast. Hello and welcome to Relax the Podcast. I'm Colleen Ballinger. Hi. Yep. I'm Eric. And we are the hosts of the podcast Relax. This is our 51st episode. Last week we had our huge 50th extravaganza episode, which was very exciting. It was very extravagant. And this week will be a big disappointment, I'm sure. I'm just kidding. Wait, is that that where the word extravagant comes from? Is extravaganza? Um, Which one is the root word? I feel like extravaganza would have come from extravagant. Like extravaganza. I don't know. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? Extravagant or extravaganza? Same question. You're so good with words. Who needs to relax this week for you, lovey? It's for me this week. It's more of a question of it'd be easier to say what what um what doesn't. You know, I feel like everything does. Yeah, does that I make agree sense? With that. Mm-hmm. Yes. It'd be uh, I, so. I I mean I. It's funny. I feel like when I was younger, I was thinking about this when I was when I would meet people. Like, oh, you're so chill, man. Like, you're such a chill guy. Like, I don't feel, I don't, don't, it's weird that I. People say that to you? Yeah, all the time. Like, whenever, like, like first impression would meet people or people would say that, like, oh, you're so chill. I've never once thought about that about you. And I don't think it's a, it used to, so like, I feel like since that was what people used to say when they first met me, that that was like a defining um, characteristic. Whereas now I feel like, like you just said, no chill. Do you didn't, when you first met me, what was your, um. What was your impression of me? I thought you were shy. I didn't think uh-huh. you were chill. What? What do you I mean? I thought you were like quiet and shy and hard to figure out. Like you don't wear your heart on your sleeve. Um, huh. And so what I was and I would say like, oh, you're so you're so like secretive. You're so shy. And you said, I prefer to be called mysterious. So which you I didn't say, say that. You there's didn't no say way. There's no did. world in which you I would have said that. Definitely did. No. Um, but yeah, no. smooth talker. No, I know um, no, I feel like you were very, yeah, I just would have said shy and, um, artsy and hipstery, but I wouldn't say well, when you first met me. Chill. I was very really, like focused on the work that we were doing. Right. Correct. And you still are always very focused on but the I work didn't you're doing. Seem, you wouldn't say I seemed chill about Absolutely it. Absolutely not. But I wasn't like a basket case. I no, was no, no, just no. like, focused. you like you mask well your anxieties, I feel. And you mask it in the form of like just well, being quiet then. and shy. Uh-huh. Um, what was different then? You didn't have three kids. Um, mm, you didn't wow. have a chaotic wife. Uh, but I still think you probably had the same amount of anxiety. You just were yeah. able to hide it better because you didn't have all the extra stuff. You know what I mean? Like all the extra like babies. Uh-huh. Oh, again, <laughs> you have this way <laughs> of a round of our children sneezing back <laughs> into your so own bad. body. I have allergies so bad. That was gonna be my relax this week, but I changed my mind. Where does it go if it just if you just sneeze into yourself? Where does it then come <laughs> I don't out? No, into my soul and out my butt. I don't know. Um, if you're watching, you'll see I am holding Maisie. Wesley is sleeping next to us. Um, so if you hear little cute grunts and coos, it's Maisie. So- people always said, people always said when we were going to have twins, the number one piece of advice that people gave was always keep them on the same schedule. Good. You know, gotta keep them on the same schedule. Ugh. You know what I mean? When one eats, you got eats, you got eats the other one. When one, when, when one eats it, eats gotta, the other one. Yeah, when one when you wake up, when one wakes up, you gotta wake up the other one. It's like it's torture hell, bro. Try you try it. It's torture you did that? hell. You did that, twin parent. That's um, your number one piece of the advice. The other advice I get it is it doesn't happen that way. It's impossible. One's always gonna be crying. Like there's no way to make it so that is she rooting. I don't know if that's seriously? advice or just like a fact. Yeah. Are you okay? Are you hungry? You just ate. Do you need to eat more, Macy? What do you think? Anyway. Why rooting? So Why do they call it rooting? Rooting. I don't know. The word rooting needs to relax. Oh, is she rooting? Oh, she's not rooting. We need to feel her rooting. Everything she needs to plant? relax for As much as I today. love plants, like what she's rooting. What does that mean? What to is root? she? A- like a pig? Does a pig root for like um, truffle mushrooms? Is that rooting? I think it is. It's not just like digging. Is that where it comes snow? from? I don't know where it comes from, love. I, I know that. Well, I'm not here to just talk. I'm here to give answers. I know that uh, the the band on Jimmy Fallon's called The Roots. They're great. Yeah. They're very talented. I've seen, have you ever seen them live? I've seen them live. I have seen them live when I was on the show. 
I met them. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, I'm sorry, I paid for a concert ticket when I was in high school to see them at Toad's Place in New Haven, Connecticut. Toad's Place. Yeah, Toad's okay. Place. So your Who Needs to Relax is everyone and everything? Uh, rooting. Let's look at this. Okay. <laughs> uh, rooting, the part of a plant that grows underground, okay? The part of a tooth, hair, or fingernail that is attached to the body. The cause Ew. or source of something. Okay, so I think you need to be more specific in your Google search and put in when it comes to nursing. Um, oh, I gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, we're both um, a little on edge. We're very much in the thick of it with these babies. Um, and so we're very overly exhausted right now and on edge and everything is uh, obnoxious, which is why I'm assuming Eric says everything needs to relax this week. Which I would agree with. Do people call you chill? Were people like, wow, Colleen, no you're so has chill? No one ever said, do you think anyone has ever told me I'm chill? I guess people have said, uh, you know what? They have. Rooting reflex. It's like not even a, th I'm sorry, okay. to jump back um, and forth. It's like a, re they, that's what they call the reflex. It's honestly like people have said it in really, really high stress situations. People have said to me, how are you so chill right now? Uh, I feel like that is when I get chill. Is the most stressful situations in the world is when I suddenly am like I extremely say, chill. You're chill, but I would say, I say you have the ability to appear relaxed, but then you, that's when I feel most relaxed, honestly. Yeah. You thrive. Uh, I thrive when in, in chaos. chaos. Yeah. I love chaos. And, and if there's an issue that in everyone's drama. like, if there's like a problem and everyone's like, we can't do it, we can't do this. I'm like, yes, we can. I'm like, I don't know if it's being stubborn or motivated or, um, I don't know what it is, but like. The calmest I can think of myself being are like the most stressful days on set of Haters Back Off or like the birth of Flynn or, you know, like things I that feel are like stressful. Um, I'm like super. How about seven calm. months pregnant? The literal night before you film uh, your Netflix comedy special. So you have to do two full sets at the Kennedy Center. And the night before they tell you, you can't use the tracks <gasps> that you've recorded. So you then, oh after rehearsing God. all day, I forgot with like a hundred person that. crew, you went back to a hotel room that in DC so and awful. then re essentially rewrote every Miranda song mm -hmm. until six in the morning. At this point, you couldn't even get in and out of a shower by yourself. Mm -hmm. And then you had to the next day get up, do yeah, I was up all night, do two Not, shows, two meet and greets. I was re like. And essentially orchestrating do the show. essentially yeah, like that's what it was. tracks, like editing tracks, um, because we weren't allowed to use the tracks that I had. And they told me the night before, I mean, like I'm talking 12 hours before I had to film at the Kennedy center, they were like, you can't use any of your tracks. And so we had to find replacement tracks that sounded sort of similar. And then I had to edit those tracks to sound they're more similar and be yeah. the right timing and because they're oh, YouTube awful. copyright free tracks, but YouTube, but Netflix wanted the rights from YouTube and YouTube was like, well, they're copyright free. We don't have it, but like Netflix wanted it in writing and YouTube wouldn't give it to them writing, but this was all decided within the literal evening before yeah, you bad. then had to record it. It was bad. It uh, was, but I wouldn't that night. I, I would have described you as totally true. <laughs> everything Eric just said was not, um, it, it, it was a, a paraphrasing. There was no issues with YouTube and Netflix. Everyone is friends. <laughs> like, I don't want to get into like the details of what happened oh, there. Oh, should I not have said that? No, 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 no. It's totally fine. There's no drama. I think that's there just really literally what happened. I think it was, I know, I just it was just the timing wasn't right. For, those right. conversations could have happened. It just would have taken. I just don't want people to misinterpret that. No, but as, like, no one realized that that was an issue until the, the, um, oh, yeah, it was the horrible. eve of, as opposed to like. In the months building up to it, it, it could have been. It was. It was real bad. Why am I it talking was, about like the I was, business side I was of like your things? I was like crying, and yeah, I was not chill that night. That night was that was a crisis too deep for me. And you know what? I don't think I count as me when I'm pregnant. Like I feel like if I wasn't pregnant, I would have handled that really well. No, but you did. Here's the thing: you did handle it well because, and that's what popped into my head. But that was like the most kind of chaotic thing that, that you was had to horrible. figure out. I mean, but yeah, I would. We not had a chiropractor back. Back, come back stage. I know it was awesome. Um, I would never classify you as a chill from person. the audience. Is there a chiropractor in the audience? And there was. I kind of feel like we're having two different conversations. Like we're both talking to each other, but like that's not kind of what it is when we talk. <laughs> responding to what the other is saying. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. So you were saying you you used to be a chill person. In what world were you before I knew you? I guess. 
Do you think you were inside? Did you feel chill? I feel like yeah, yeah. Really? I th- I did. Yeah. That's so surprising. I used to, to not me. have. Uh, I used to not be anxious at all, and I used to like you know, um, yeah. I was like fearless with all the things that I did, and I I uh, you know, hmm. marijuana. I don't know. Mar- <laughs> <laughs> and are you just saying the word marijuana? Yeah, or? I don't know. I just thought I just um, think it's a cool word. <laughs> Well, that's neat. Um, um, uh, great. Back in the day when I was young, not a kid anymore, but some days I sit, wish I was a kid again. What is happening? Really? Oh, oh well, I just, you didn't finish the Well, I, was just, I wasn't getting, I was just, it's from a song. What? What song? You don't know that song? I mean, what do you think I was doing? You thought I was <laughs> just, just talking? talking. That's why I was so confused. <laughs> I made that up. Wait, once upon a time I was young, yeah. I used to sit. That's uh-huh. the lyrics uh-huh. to what song? <laughs> once upon I'm not a gonna, time. I don't want to get like, we don't have the rights. When I was young. Back in the day. Back in the day, I used to when sit. When I was young. Back in the day when I was young. Who sings this? You do your musical version. Back in the day. When I was young. When I was young. I'm not a kid. I'm not a kid anymore. anymore. But some days. But some days. I sit and wish I, I, I was and a kid wish again. I was a kid again. Nice. Nice. <laughs> what, what is that for real? It's from a song. I know, but tell me what song it is. I don't know. Who sings that song? Oh my gosh. We well, don't know. Okay. I guess, I mean, I maybe, maybe there are times where I thought of you as chill or would have described you as chill because your personality is more like, it comes I, across as chill, yeah. but I think internally you are not chill, but like it comes. Well, which, that's because I let you in. I let you see the dark side. I let you let me into your mysterious ways. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, I, you know, I take it all back. I, I'm pretty chill guys. Look, I'm sitting here. Chill. chill. I don't out. know. Yes. You, so chill. No, I feel like um, you are n- not chill, but I love you and I love that you. I'll say this. This panic. is how chill I am. While taking it, <laughs> I got to shower today, which doesn't happen every day now because of multiple children mm-hmm. under my tutelage. Mm-hmm. Um, whilst in the shower, I cleaned the shower. Like that's not chill. Like you shouldn't be cleaning a shower while taking the one shower you get that's like five minutes long for the first time you in got two a shower days. alone today which was pretty i know but even still then i couldn't like enjoy it i'm like i was, was scrubbing yeah guys there's a pink mold in our shower <laughs> that pink mold needs to relax I thought you were gonna say there's a pink mold in this room as looking at the old mac and cheese that's still in here from there's last multiple time molds we did a podcast throughout this house um yeah. Uh, well, if we if I if I drop dead in the next twenty four hours, investigate that mold. Oh my gosh! Conspiracy theorists. Okay. Um. You know who is chill, <laughs> and who can help us to chill? Our first sponsor, Helix. <laughs> We've had our Helix mattress for quite some time now, and whoa, holy smokes, we love it. As you guys know, we are obsessed with our mattress. You've seen the mattress here on this podcast. We've done so many podcast episodes on our bed recently because it's just that cozy. We even want to work on our mattress. We do the podcast on it. It's so amazing. It's really helped us to feel rested in the moments where we are able to sleep, which is rare these days. So we really appreciate having a mattress that is cozy and comfy uh, because sleep is very rare in our (laughs) time currently of brand new babies. Helix Sleep has a quiz that just takes two minutes to complete and matches your body type and sleep preferences to the perfect mattress for you. Why would you buy a mattress made for someone else? With Helix, you're getting a mattress that you know will be perfect for the way that you sleep. Everyone's unique and Helix knows that. So they have several different mattress models to choose from. They have soft, medium, and firm mattresses. Mattress is great for cooling you down if you sleep hot. And mattress is great for spinal alignment to prevent morning aches and pains. And even a Helix Plus mattress for plus size sleepers. We took the Helix quiz and we were matched with the medium firm mattress model because we like something that feels a little bit more firm and we sleep on our sides and we move around a lot at night. And it's just really helped with back support and um, shoulder support. It's just, it's wonderful. We really love it. It's a huge upgrade over all the mattresses we've had in the past. It feels very luxurious and it's super, super cozy. We're sleeping well in the moments where we can find a second to sleep. Um, and that's been really helpful for us. So if you're looking for a mattress, you take the quiz, you order the mattress that you've matched to, and the mattress comes right to your door shipped for free. You don't even need to go to a mattress store ever again. 
Helix is awesome, but you don't need to take our word for it. Helix was awarded the number one best overall mattress pick of 2020 and by GQ and Wired Magazine. Helix has been recommended by multiple leading chiropractors and doctors of sleep medicine as a go-to solution for improving sleep. Just go to helixsleep.com slash RCE, take their two-minute sleep quiz, and they'll match you to a customized mattress that will give you the best sleep of your life. They have a 10-year warranty and you Get to try it out for 100 nights risk-free. They'll even pick it up for you if you don't love it, but you will. Helix even has financing options and flexible payment plans, so a great night's sleep is never far away. Helix is offering up to $200 off of all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners at helixsleep.com slash RCE. That's helixsleep.com slash RCE. Oh, we love Helix, don't we love so wonderful i'm happy yeah okay so you want to know who needs to relax for me oh did we not do yours we didn't do mine yet i'm sorry i was having my own conversation that's fine um who needs to relax for me is i was gonna say allergies because my allergies have been wild like like so bad eric pretty chill to be around eric hates it and he like makes fun of me constantly i do not i do not i'm very yes, sympathetic do. to your You're allergies like, <laughs> <laughs> like that's eric's impression of <laughs> me having do. allergies it's like that but if it kept do going it right now for, for the people oh, oh my god i can't breathe <laughs> <laughs> that's like, eric's but like, impression of me but like it it's <laughs> so nice all night all day like you like you're very I vocal know, it's like really bad. it's like yeah i hear it and you just you just have to like say it over and over again yeah and i feel terrible you don't <laughs> that sounds like, like you said, that sprays. sounds like you feel terrible just the sound of nasal sprays know, actively it's so bad Ugh. but i was gonna say that but i changed my mind um to uh because right before we started recording i had to do something and it was wash bottles I hate washing bottles. Yeah. I hate it. And man, when you have twins, do you have a lot of bottles? I cannot like we have so many bottles like we have an absurd amount of bottles for these babies and they have all these parts that need to go in them to like help them to eat well and not get too gassy and whatever. Yeah, it's and- not just a bottle anymore. It's a it's a it's a well engineered bottle with like with like all these multiple things, inserts like parts, and we have so many like copious amounts of bottles and parts, and somehow Still never by them. three in the afternoon they're all they're dirty, all dirty, every single one, and so I had to sit over the sink and wash a million bottles and a million little parts and make sure they're all sterilized and dried and then put them back together. I do like, it, it yeah, I do it too. In insane. Well, we have like. A lot of different duties as parents. Like we, we are very much like split the duties parents. And yes, Eric does wash bottles, but uh, like, yeah, but, but that like is lately, more my that's gig. been your gig lately. In the, yeah. In the, in the past week that we've had. And, and mine has been, been the diaper trash can. Yes. Which with twins, uh, <laughs> it's crazy. I have to, <laughs> have to empty this diaper trash can every three quarters of a day. It's wild. Oh, we're upsetting Maisie. I think we're embarrassing her. Talking and it's about always, her um, there's always, Somebody is playing diaper basketball and is really bad at hoops. It's me. Because there's that, this diaper trash can. They're like, you don't need, you just, okay, you, just you just look at it. You just look at it funny and it opens and it sucks a diaper in. This is going to cause some reason, controversy. They're all around this is going to cause controversy. Okay. This is why we have one this stupid diaper genie. No offense to diaper genie. Please sponsor us. I didn't say you're stupid. Well, why did um, they make it so small? I mean, I guess maybe with one baby, it'd last a day and no, a half. I doubt it. But anyway, I. So there's people are going to come for me, whatever. But in the middle of the night feeds, I have two freaking babies. Jeez. No. <laughs> Who's going to come for you, genies? <laughs> no, people, when I say what I'm about to say. Oh. So I have, by the way, I want to get back to this bottle discussion, but I'll get back to it in a minute. Um, so I change, I keep diapers and wipes by my bed. And after I feed them, I change Ugh. their diaper. So I don't have to like get up and go over there and leave one baby in the bassinet or Glad on the I bed. Glad I built that and blah, changing blah, 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 blah. table in our bedroom. We change them on it a billion times a day. It's just like one or two of the middle of the night feeds. I'll do it in the bed with me and then toss the diaper over into the direction of the trash can so that we can put it in the trash can the next day. We. Oui. Okay. The royal we. Oui. When you change a diaper in the middle of the night, you can get up and you can put it in the trash can. But when I change a diaper in the middle of the night, I'm throwing it across the room. And you I'm letting you. it thud. I'm letting it thud again. Yeah. I, I just the con- Just the constant thuds of... Filled diapers. Um, but anyway, relatively I, near the trash can. 
<laughs> you need four diapers. I wanted to get back to this conversation about bottles and washing them. I hate it so much. I hate it with a fiery passion and I have to do it multiple times a day. And I hate it so much. It makes me rage. It makes my hands feel gross because milk, breast milk, like is like slimy on the bottles. So it's like, you have to feel it creates that a when film it. and then film with a when your, your hands. It reminds me of my childhood. Cause I never had a dishwasher growing up ever. You can't dishwash them. Well, you can't dishwash and these bottles. And you can't so just I do put them hand. in the san- sanitizer. No, you, you gotta to wash them. Yeah. And so I'm washing my hand. But as a kid, we never had a dishwasher. This is a new thing in my life. And so I always had to wash dishes by hand. And so it's like bringing back these memories of the fury I felt washing dishes as a kid. Did you guys have mm. a dishwasher growing up? No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. You did or you did not? <laughs> from, <laughs> I, from what I can remember from um, fourth grade on, yes. Okay. And I, we would get paid uh, an actual nickel mm-hmm. to load or unload said dishwasher. Five I cents. would I would pay a nickel to have had to just take it in or out of the dishwasher than to wash the dishes. So there was like designated- There were still always too many dishes though for the dishwasher. Well, see, now I'm disappointed because I thought we could have a conversation about this. Maybe you remember from your prior to fourth grade times what it was like before the dishwasher. But we had like- we all had designated jobs as to who had to rinse the dishes, who had to wash the dishes, who had to dry the dishes and who had to put them away. Cause there were four kids. How about and since it like, was, yeah, huh. it was horrendous. And the, the nights where I was put in charge of rinsing the dishes, like tears, because having food that's on a plate touch my hand <laughs> was uh, hell. Do you, do you feel this way? Is just this a me weird thing? But well, like, a, even now a, as an I've adult. worked in restaurants. B, since I moved out of home and since college on, I never had a single apartment that had a dishwasher until this house. Right. So it's horrible, right? It's the worst thing in the world, washing dishes by hand. Yes. I've had to do it <laughs> many times, forever. I used to, have, you know what I mean? Those like wooden little uh, dryer racks that you would put next mm-hmm. to the sink, like- Miserable. See, we hey, never even did roommates. that. Remember roommates? And then the roommate, like there was always a dishes fight with roommates. Oh, always a dishes fight so with always roommates. Always that one roommate boiling eggs, something. And then <laughs> boiling eggs is yeah, very hard to clean. You, out. you know who you are. <laughs> always boiling eggs. But that's not even messy. Well, if they're listening, they will know. Well, they somehow made it very messy and they boiled dozens of eggs, it seemed, every day and left them all the dishes in the sink. Oh, um, God. Well, I just like it's bringing back all these memories of like, the horrible, horrible feeling that your hands would get when you wash dishes and like how dry and cracked and gross they get. Where are dishwashing gloves? They're right there by the sink. But that's the other thing. I hate the feeling of dishwashing gloves. I think they're disgusting feeling. Name to me right now five things you like the feeling of. (laughs) Um, You can't do it. I can't. You left because you can't think of one. I I guess I have sensory issues or something, but like- yeah. You think? I like the feeling of my baby's cheeks. Oh, okay. Yeah. Of um Flynn's hands holding his hands. A I like the feeling. Textile, a textile feeling that you like the feeling of. <laughs> my blankie. No, oh, your gross, <laughs> nasty thing. The grossest thing I can think of is the one thing you will touch and insist on like sleeping your face on every night. The feeling of your kisses. I like the <laughs> I like that you just, grow up. you just threw up. <laughs> I like the feeling of, oh, you know, it's great. There was a pet store growing up <laughs> that was like a, it was like a really big, like barn type place. And they had like bird seed and stuff. And mm-hmm. I would stick my hand in the bird seed, like a big bucket oh, of bird yeah, seed. Oh yeah. Just like <laughs> just a so, fistful of dry bird get seed. Get out of here. It Come feels on. so good. So Am I good. crazy? That feels really good, no, right? I'm sure Have everybody knows what we're talking about. Do you know what I'm talking about? Are you making fun of me? I have no idea. What are you talking what? about? You've never done this? It's <laughs> no. incredible. We have to go to a big f- pet food barn. We have to, I have to These take you. These aren't things. <laughs> yes, they Did are. you drive your tractor there? What are you talking about? No, there was like a pet food store that was like a big open pet food store. And they just had barrels of birdseed that you yes. could just put your dirty little kid hands into? Yeah, and they had like guinea pig pellets and 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 bunny rabbit pellets and bird food and like that's chicken what you food. Thought of? That's, what, that's how far you had to deep, <laughs> like how deep. How- how deep you had to dig when I was like. <laughs> to think of something I like the feeling of. Yeah. I, I guess I don't like the feeling of many things. 
on my hands. Like, I don't like things touching me. I don't like feeling things. I'm I brought like a blanket things. the other day and you were like, I like this side, but this side, my feet could never touch this blanket. <laughs> and it's like literally like the highest rated, softest blanket on the internet. And you're like, my feet will never touch this I side. Like there are people but I like listening this. who will understand. There's is, certain materials that you touch and it makes and what me does it do? gag. But what does it do? What is it doing? It makes me gag. It like, <laughs> there's certain materials that like get caught on tiny pieces of like your skin, like in like, <laughs> people out there will know what I'm talking about. You mean like, just like, I know they will. I don't know. As I've Skin. Bec- what? <laughs> <laughs> Human skin? Like, I like the feeling of, um, let me think. <laughs> I don't know. All you could think of was bird seed. <laughs> <laughs> as, oh. I get, as I get older and I was, okay, so I was diagnosed with ADHD as an adult. And the more I think about how weird I am, the more I'm like, oh, are these things that go with that, that I just never knew were things? Like, yeah. is it not normal that like, I like the feeling of sticking my hand in bird seed? <laughs> Oh, we'll have to look that one up in the. Uh, Come on! What's the big psychology book where rice, everything's rice? Stick your hand in a bag of rice. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, you definitely have whatever it says in that psychology book. Uh, you have. I don't it. know. Like, um, okay, I'm trying to think of other things. Like rice? the feeling of yeah. the feeling of yeah. Okay. Well, because I, I've made like we've made like sensory bins for Flynn. Uh-huh. I stick my hands in the rice bowl or the rice with Flynn. Okay. But sand, not a chance. Sand, get out of here. I don't like sand. The feeling of that. Name things and we'll see if I like the feeling of them. <laughs> <laughs> name, name things that people generally like the feeling of. Like, I don't know, like velvet, cashmere. It depends. It dep- see, like you say velvet and I think New it's carpet. too slippery. When you say, oh, see, Leather. I, I like some carpets. Uh-huh. The grass. I don't like grass. Oh God. <laughs> because grass is itchy. Uh-huh. And when you said cashmere, I just thought, huh, that sounds hot. You don't like your feet in the sand? Like your your feet in the sand no. at the beach? No. Cause then I just think about how it's gonna be stuck to my feet. And I have to like shower to get it off. <laughs> That's not fun. You know what I mean? By the way, I've been like this since before I could speak. A fresh, like hot like, towel. My- Oh, you know what's the worst? Oh when they God. give you those fresh hot towels on the airplane, uh-huh. that I know. grosses see, me out. <laughs> see how crazy you are? <laughs> That's so they, gross to me. Like first class because on I'm a just, flight. Because all I think about when they hand it and to me, give you it's this, like, like, the, like with like tongs, they'll give you this nice hot towel. No, it's not a nice like, hot towel. Get away from me. Me, I'm like rubbing it in my armpits. Exactly. Like, I love it. It's like, it's not, I don't think it should be classified as a hot towel. It's like a soggy paper it's like thin and gross not cozy like it's like gross material and all i can think about is how every person has rubbed their you ever gross done it at home? face on it you ever like to take makeup off you ever done like a hot i don't towel? take my makeup off oh god <laughs> i just let it kind of so like rub off. On, there was like a couple of sets i've been on where like the makeup department when you were done shooting would give you a hot towel a wet hot towel like straight out of a microwave and it like yeah. was really I don't felt know. really nice i guess i don't like the feeling of anything i don't think i like the feeling of anything no you yeah yeah. Oh, no, there is something I really love the feeling of. Someone playing with my hair. Like if you like run your fingers that's through my hair. That's not something that you feel. That's, that's, that's like a feeling that you can have, but that's not something <laughs> that you can. It's not like a, a textile sensory that you can touch, love. That's like a massage. <laughs> <laughs> that's the one thing that you're like, ah, I like birdseed and massages. Okay. Yeah. That's the name of this episode. You're such, you're birdseed such a and textual massages. person, love. Okay. Well, you know what I do actually love the feeling of I love the feeling of stamps <laughs> do you lick them I mean you know what with your tongue <laughs> you know what I have I used to when I was a kid but you do I, like my mom got a thing when we were kids that was like a stamp licker thing like it was like four licking stamps so you didn't have to do it it was like a specific like sponge thing that was specifically for stamps yeah it's a sponge Anyway, there's a serial killer they caught because he licked an envelope or stamp. Yeah, because his DNA is on. Anyway, stamps.com. <laughs> stamps.com is our next sponsor. <laughs> As you guys know, every year for my birthday, I do a big fundraiser to raise money for childhood cancer. And when I do that, I always send out a bunch of prizes to people who donate and spread the word. And so stamps.com has been a lifesaver as we are shipping out so many gifts to people. Um, So we would love if you guys checked it out. It has helped us so much. And if you are a small business owner, you're busy enough as it is 
you don't have time to deal with the hassle of going to the post office. And with stamps.com, you can skip the trip and never waste another dollar or minute. Stamps.com lets you print official postage right from your computer so you can spend less time at the post office and more time running your business. You guys, the amount of time that I have saved using stamps.com that I would have wasted at the post office, oh my gosh, it is life changing. Stamps.com saves you time, money, and stress. For more than 20 years, Stamps.com has been indispensable for over 1 million businesses. Stamps.com gives you access to all the post office and UPS shipping services you need right from your computer. And you can get discounts you can't find anywhere else, like up to 40% off USPS rates and 76% off UPS. Whether you're at an office sending invoices, a side hustle Etsy shop, or a full-blown warehouse shipping out orders, Stamps.com will make your life easier. All you need is a computer and a standard printer. No special supplies or equipment is needed. You're up and running in minutes, printing official postage for any letter, any package, anywhere you want to send. So save time and money this year with stamps.com. Sign up with promo code relax for a special offer that includes a four week trial, free postage and a digital scale. No long term commitments or contracts. Just go to stamps.com. Click the microphone at the top of the page and enter code relax. Okay, I'm really excited about what we're about to talk about. Because I went and looked at some comments, love, which is a terrifying adventure. Yeah, I don't understand how you... Um, Well, comments, luckily our viewers are really sweet and wonderful and leave wonderful, kind comments. Oh, not on on our on our podcast? Yeah, oh, okay. on the podcast. And I'm very excited today. I'm about to gloat a little bit because I'm right, lovey. I'm right. Is that what this segment's called? This segment's called I'm Right. <laughs> and the reason I'm allowed to gloat about this is because I'm never right. And no one ever agrees with me. For example, today's episode, we will get no comments that say, I agree with Colleen. I only like the feeling of bird seed. Mm-hmm. Somebody, I mean, sure. There might be one person. Birders. Birders will understand. Birders. Yeah. Is that what they're called? <laughs> yeah. Bird herders? Yeah, it is. Birders. Mm-hmm. Anyway, um, no one ever agrees with me. All of our little discussions on here. Everyone thinks that I am totally insane. Um, but today they agree with me, love. All right. Are you ready for this? Yes. Kelsey commented, Eric is 1000% wrong about the bath mats. A lot of percent. Every single part of his argument is wrong. I saw this and went, hmm. About what? The bath mats. Now, I saw this and go, oh, a person agrees with me. That's a first. I, I'm pretty sure. I, I'm going to continue here. I've, I feel that like has, I won that argument in real has, time, though. Oh, no, no, no. That has 309 likes. Let's 309 people like that? Lauren said, rolling toothpaste when done properly. The act brings the toothpaste to the top in an efficient way. Bathroom mats. And non So I'm right about that. Yes, you are. In non-bath bathrooms and when washed regularly, mats provide warmth, texture, and interest. Now, Austin here. Wait, did a computer write that? I know, it's kind of weird. <laughs> but it Wait, did, uh, did a robot write that comment? <laughs> hold on, have hold on. Also, Lauren the robot. You can't go on to the next one. I can, and I'm about to. You can't because- I have to. When washed properly, when was the last time you washed those bath mats that you then toilet rug that you keep in our I'm going downstairs into the next half one. bath? Austin said- Ignore me. I love- how adamantly Eric just argued against himself in the bathroom rugs. I have never seen a rug in a a public bathroom, but that's exactly why I have them in mine. I don't want guests walking into a bathroom in my house and thinking it looks like a public bathroom. It's the small details that make a house comfortable and inviting. Just wash it with some bleach every week or two. It's not that hard. All right. I'm going to go. I'm going to take it. I'm like, hold on, I'm not done. 445 <laughs> likes. Hold on, I, I'm I need not to. Done. I need to get up right now and go take a picture. I'm gonna go take a picture of the bath. You keep, you keep okay. reading them. I'm gonna go take a picture oh of this God, bath. He's bath gonna that go Everyone like... loves so much. <laughs> so listen, here's the deal, guys. Um, here's the deal. If you are confused as to what we're talking about here, um, we're talking about how a couple weeks ago in the podcast, Eric was. <laughs> I can hear him laughing in the other room. Eric, <laughs> Eric was so angry and saying that I was insane that I wanted a bath mat. This and me, wait, I let me finish. Let me finish what I'm saying first, I just please. Don't want anyone to think that I altered that room in any way? <laughs> okay, this, is, this is legitimately. He's showing a picture to the listeners what it looks right, like now. right now. Just loose toilet paper <laughs> on a crusty, <laughs> unwashed. Okay, listen. I need to finish what I was saying. So what we're discussing right now. That's what it looks like. 
That's literally what it looks like. I didn't touch anything. Okay. So what we're talking about is a couple weeks ago, we were having this discussion. Eric was talking about how I'm absolutely insane and I am so disgusting because I think bathrooms need like bath mats, like right by the sink, maybe around the toilet if you're feeling frisky. If, but if, there's, a sh- the if there's a shower. And Eric thinks that it or shouldn't. there's a bath. It is let called- me, I'm just trying to give them, a, a, let me just finish the sentence. So... Eric was saying the other week that that is a disgusting quality about me that I like bathroom bathrooms to have rugs, bath mats. And he thinks that is so gross and there should be nothing on the floor. Nothing. It should just be a plain floor. And I was saying that's that seems grosser to me. That seems very like bachelor like i'm not getting no bath mat i'm not getting no pillowcase. No, no, in a half bath specifically where there there's no need to be barefoot or wet. But there's a sink. There's a sink. You just want to stand on cold tile. It's like nice hard wood. Okay. Anyway, he was saying how I'm disgusting and he was very intense about it. So all the comments, here's another one. I love how Eric is complaining about all these things surrounding hygiene, but he wears his shoes inside the house and on the bed. People were very upset about you wearing shoes on the bed. Why was I wearing shoes on the bed? When you were talking about this. I, this is great. I love the fact that Eric won't put a rug in the bathroom, but he puts one in the car, which is yeah, true. Yeah, put a rug in the car. You like the rug in the... I love it, but people are just saying that you're I put you're a shag wrong. rug in the car for, for style and comfort. So everyone was... For my children. You should go read. Like, all the comments are talking about how you're wrong. And that how bathrooms... About that specific issue? Bath mats. Yeah, they're all like, what is he talking about? I'm shocked. Bath mats. I'm shocked. Because I thought my point about, like, why put it in a, in a guest half bath... Because it looks, uh, and they're if, saying it makes you, a home look. Cozier, if you're watching more this inviting. and not listening, so you can see the picture, like they're gross and un. They are gross. The ones we have in that for, room are gross, and they don't they don't match anything in there. Yeah, they're gross. Um, my but my point about like if you if you went into an LAX bathroom and they had the little toilet rug on there, you'd be like, I can't go in here. This is disgusting. This rug, this like absorbent fabric rug. Everyone's saying that like it makes your home look. More homey, lived in, like it's it's a nice, pretty thing to have, like to make it not just look like a gross bathroom. All right. So I, but I'm this- gonna I'm gonna do something now to that bathroom, and I'll just say, uh, I'm scared. You, I'll just say you asked for it. You've what? asked for this. Are you gonna carpet the bathroom? You've asked for this, love. What you you want you're it? So stubborn. Be careful you're what gonna, you wish for. We'll what? update this in a later. Don't episode. carpet the bathroom, please. We need to resell this house. Don't carpet the bathroom. I'm not going to carpet the bathroom. Okay, but I did want to say there's one other comment I really liked on last week's episode. So okay. There's a moment in the podcast where for like five minutes we argued about how not argued, but you were like, "Did you just call me, dude?" And I was like, "I, I don't know, did I?" And you're like, "You did. You just call me, dude." Do you remember this? We had like a full conversation about how you were like, "I can't believe you just called me, dude." I don't, I don't know. <laughs> well, this happened. And I remember uh, being like, did I call you dude? I don't think I would have called you dude. We talked about this for a while. There's a comment that said the fact, <laughs> and I didn't catch this, the fact that Eric called Colleen dude. And then like a minute later said, did you just call me dude? <laughs> <laughs> and there were a lot of comments about that, that you called me dude. And then you're like, whoa. Did you just call me? <laughs> <laughs> that's what you get that. on this podcast. You don't get anywhere else. Uh, that's really funny. And I feel like that's uh that's a kind of really um cool, neat way of of uh summing up our relationship. What? It's me doing something <laughs> and, and then, then immediately me. yelling you for it. <laughs> yeah, that is a perfect way to every day there's something Eric lost that he's like, love. And it's always something that I would. Why is it no minutes? I would never <laughs> ever touch. Be like, where's my watch? It's like I don't know where that is. You Not always, something I've ever said to you. Yeah, uh, you said something to me yesterday. Like I've where's never said something, to you, "Where's my watch?" I'm just. I was bringing up an example of something that I would never. A fictional touch. example that never happened, oh and you God. said I say it all the time, <laughs> and then I said it. You go yesterday. You said this to me. Like I've literally no, never I said that to that. you. I didn't, I didn't say. I said yesterday. You said something to me, and I can't think of an example. So I was just thinking. So you just lie. I was thinking of something that I like obviously would never touch and would not be my fault if it was missing. But every day there's something. He's like, Yeah, we're always out of mayonnaise and you don't eat mayo. He's always like asking where something is. And I'm like, I don't know. You had it last. And um, you yeah, I'm always accused of the things. Said by the person who is just constantly walking around this house yelling, Where's my phone? 
<laughs> As if other people are making phone calls. <laughs> no, wait. Whoa, on her phone. there's a huge difference. First of all, I don't say where is my phone. I say I can't find it. my phone. Like royalty. I have never. I am the first to admit that I lose everything. I do not have a wallet. I do not have keys. Yeah, I have this, nothing. Yeah. I don't. I don't have anything because I lose everything. I, Colleen Ballinger, lose my things, and I am. I'm okay admitting that. I'm comfortable admitting that. So there's a difference between me going, hey, where's my phone? I can't find my phone. Have you seen my phone? And you going like, where did you put the mayonnaise? Yeah, I get it. But I don't lose things. I can't find them from time to time. (laughs) It's losing. Then they've been if somebody has stolen if I lose something, somebody has stolen it. But if Flynn's like, Daddy, I need this specific excavator. The orange one, blah, blah, blah. I know in, in whichever pile of trucks our house, I know where that excavator yeah, is. Yeah, I couldn't do that, but I don't know where anything is. And I know ever. where your phone is often when you don't. That's true. You usually do. Where's I don't the know monitor? anything is I know ever. where it is. Yeah. But if I Eric lost are. something, it is not his fault. But I don't lose. He will always blame everyone else before he blames himself when something is lost. Always, always, always. Even like cl- your clothes, I feel. You'll say that you're like, your clothes. Don't your touch pants. my laundry, anybody. <laughs> Oh man, but you know what? You know what, lovey? You know what you never lose? What's that? <laughs> Liquid IV. Oh, they they keep sending us so much of it. I and know. I drink so, thank you goodness, do you drink because so much of it. I'm like I'm like I need to be hydrated right now. Eric loves Liquid IV. Oh, let's this Omicron. Let's, let's talk about it. Liquid IV. Oh my gosh, we are just flooded in this house with Liquid IV. It is I would say it's Eric's probably his drink of choice these days. He's always drinking a liquid IV because it's really helped us, especially right now with how exhausted we are. Um, it has helped give us a little bit of energy and some nutrients that we need to just survive. So it has really helped us out a lot and it's helped us to stay hydrated in a time where we definitely need it. And you know what? It can help you too. The new year is here and there's no better way to kick off 2022 than by making sure you're feeling like your best self. So you guys should check it out. One stick of liquid IV in 16 ounces of water hydrates faster and more efficiently than water alone. Liquid IV has incredible hydration flavors like watermelon, lemon, lime, strawberry, pina colada, and more. Obviously, I really like the passion fruit. That is my go-to. I just, who doesn't love passion fruit? I feel like there must be people who don't like it, but I, I can't imagine that because it is delicious. I don't even think Eric has a favorite anymore. I feel like he tries a new one every single day, um, but it is delicious and it is all over our home. So for me, it's just super delicious, which is a good thing because I am not a big water drinker until I got pregnant. And then I just am constantly chugging water. And so it's a nice way to make water more fun and taste good because of how much water I'm supposed to be drinking right now um, as a breastfeeding mama. Um, And it also makes you feel really good. And there are nights where, you know, Eric has a, has a drink. He has a glass of wine or two. And um, it's nice to get rehydrated the next morning by having a liquid IV. So he usually has one first thing in the morning and he usually does one right before we go to bed too. He fills up a whole glass of it and puts it by, um, by the bed so he can drink it throughout the night. Um, and yeah, we use it a lot in this house. So one stick of liquid IV in 16 ounces of water hydrates faster and more efficiently than water alone. It contains five essential vitamins, B3, B5, B6, B12, and vitamin C with three times the electrolytes of traditional sports drinks. And it's made with premium ingredients, non-GMO and free from gluten, dairy, and soy. Liquid IV is on a mission to change the world. So Liquid IV has donated over 19 million servings globally, which is just incredible. So grab Liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco, or you can get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use the code RELAX at checkout. That's 25% off anything you order when you use promo code RELAX at liquidiv.com. Experience better hydration today at liquidiv.com. Promo code RELAX. Okay, love, let's play a game. I'm down. You like games? I don't, but I love playing them with you. Um, we've talked on this podcast um, a lot about your love of cinema. Oh, I, I and thought you knowledge were, of movies. Can I just say how much I love movies? That when you said cinema, 
I my mind did not think movies. My You're mind like, thought, cinnamon? why is he saying cinnamon wrong? <laughs> I literally thought you were saying cinnamon wrong. And then I go in my brain, and I was like, I don't love cinnamon. I, I mean, know that that's fine. real. Um, okay. And anyway. and TV and um, classic rock we've gone over. Mm-hmm. Like all of your love of these yeah. pop culture Huge icons love. and things. We've, we've never talked about like your your absolute love of American literature. Oh, no. Uh, well, and books and how I always get you reading and the reading. No- we have a reading oh, nook in no, our house. And I always, so I'm always like, I'm clean, come on, help me with the kids. You're up in your reading nook, reading, oh. lost in your books. Oh, no. This is going to so, be so embarrassing, guys. So I thought it'd be funny to go through some classic American uh, novels. And but don't, act, don't even act like you read. You're just looking up classic novels. It's not like you could have thought of them off the top of your head. Right. Just say it. Um, I did. I wrote down these books off the top of my head and I'm interested to see. I'm just going to name the title of a book. Oh, no. And you're going to talk to me about what the protagonist is going through in that book. <sighs> okay. I don't remember which protagonist is. Is that the lead? <laughs> oh, no. Well, there's a protagonist and an antagonist. Okay. Like um, the bad guy and the good guy? Yeah. Protagonist Sorry, would be like I'm the kind idiot. of we, we already titular character. I don't like the word titular. Why? I just don't like it. I'll take any word that has the word. Okay. Moving tenet. on. What, okay. What other words have the word uh, have tit in it? Tit? <laughs> I think that's the only one. Titular. Okay. So what is the what Basket? is Basket? Nah. Basket? I was trying to think of words that like maybe like, basket. Wait, that maybe basket. have the. Oh, I thought you said basket, and then I thought you were saying like, oh, I thought maybe basket had the word tit in it. No. Okay. Anyway. Uh, okay. Wesley's so waking up. We I'm going to say a classic American novel. You're going to tell me the protagonist, or you're just going to tell me the plot of the book. Okay. Um, Lord of the Flies. <sighs> okay, Lord of the Flies. I actually What's had to read this one. Uh huh. In elementary school. Is it about? It's about a bunch of kids. Oh, on an island. Okay. And there's something. About I thought you were gonna tell me it's about flies. No, nah, there's something about a pig head though. Pig head. Uh huh. Like they kill a pig and they like have a pig head on a stick or something like that. I think. Uh huh. That's all I remember. It's like a bunch of about, about a bunch of bratty boys, I think, mm-hmm. and like they're all on an island together. Do they kill each other? Maybe. I don't remember. But I do see. I know books. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised. Gotcha. Uh, of mice and men. This one's really sad. Hmm. Because he has to kill him. Who? The guy, his brother, doesn't he? Why? Um, because he killed he killed someone. The Curly's brother, wife? Brother killed someone. Curly's wife? I don't remember who. I know he kills a mouse. Doesn't he kill a mouse? A mouse is dead. And someone cries about a mouse being dead. Hmm. I kind of think it's rabbits. Oh, it's a rabbit. That is a rabbit. Uh-huh. Or a dog. Does a dog get shot? Probably. That might be um, Old Yeller. I think the brother accidentally kills someone like the big brother. He's huge and has a lot of strength. And then the other brother, so that he doesn't get in trouble, has to kill his big older yeah. or younger. I don't know. Just the bigger brother. And he shoots him in the back you of the head. You know a lot about books, love. I'm telling I'm you, of, I'm a really smart person. I thought I was going to answer like there's flies nah. uh, and there's like, there's mice. No, I know that one. Uh, the Great Gatsby. Um, I know that there's a movie about this. Uh huh. I have not there read this book. Movie. I had to read it's this couple. book. I had to read this book in high school, and I did not. Why? Because I don't like reading. I think. I did didn't. you ever buy Cliff Notes when you were a kid? I actually didn't buy Cliff Notes. I went on Spark Notes, which is like Oof. the off-brand Cliff Notes. Yeah. And it was free, so I don't know what you're talking about paying for it. Who made you pay for that? I just remember there was a section in Barnes & Noble when I was in high school that was like Cliff Notes, and it was just like, Ooh. Oh, you're a lot older than me. You had to get it at an actual book. I see I got it on the internet. Ah! <laughs> I remember Spark Notes too. Spark Notes. Um. Did you ever? I remember one paper I wrote. They were like uh, Spark Notes, and they oh, wrote me it too. question mark. They full on. Full on I always were like, they're like, you can't copy and paste from right. Spark Notes. Um, anyway, I did not. Uh, oh, by the way, read, kids. Don't do what I did. You should actually read. Um, oh, they got way more advanced ways of plagiarism cheating. now. Yeah. <laughs> um, so uh, wait, what was the Great Gatsby? It's something. There's like a party. I know this like in the twenties. Uh-huh. Um, because I remember seeing like, like there's the like twenty twenties flapper dresses. Yeah, nineteen twenties. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't remember. Is Leonardo DiCaprio in the movie? Say his name again. 
Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> sure is, yeah. <laughs> is that not his name? It is, yeah. Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah, no, right? I think you just, yeah. Did I not say it right? I don't know. It I sounded can't tell silly sometimes. the first time you said it. <laughs> I probably said it wrong. Uh-huh. Um, anyway, yeah, he uh, he's in the movie. <laughs> I don't know anything about yep. that one. I should know it's set in the 20s. Is he Gatsby? Is he Gatsby? Probably not. Gotcha. I'm sure there's another character named like Charles or something uh-huh. yeah. that he plays. The love interest. I, I really have no idea. I know there's like a 1920s looking car. Is the Gatsby a car? <laughs> Gatsby is a, yep. Is yes. that right? No, of course oh, not. Come on. The, the DiCaprio plays Gatsby. Oh, he does? Mm. Okay. Well, sounds like an older man. Wasn't expecting it to be <laughs> DiCaprio. <laughs> um, I don't know anything about that. What's it about? I don't, there's like a... You don't know there's either. There's like Daisy See? and there's like a Gatsby and like she's at a party. She likes some. There's like, an, a, there's like a green light. I'm not going to explain The Great Gatsby to you right now. Because you don't know either. No, because I do. Clip notes. I've read it in Spark Notes. Um, <laughs> the Catcher in the Rye. Ah, oh, dang. You know what? I have no idea. No, just, no, you're not supposed to say that. You're supposed to say, you know, you, you're supposed I've to confidently give me an answer of what it's I've about. I've heard of it. I'm sure I was supposed to read it, and I'm sure I did not. Yes. Again, you're explaining to me The Catcher in the Rye. <laughs> the Catcher in the Rye. Uh-huh. There's a field. Okay, I'm and with you so far. There's a man. Is it a Holden Caulfield? A Holden Caulfield? Yeah. I don't know what that means. Okay. Um, there's a field and you have to catch the person who's in the rye. Is rye a like type of bread? wheat? Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, Is that like where you got field bed. from? Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, I have no clue. Catcher in the rye. I don't know. What's that one about? Uh, just like a kid. It's about a kid? Yeah, named Holden Caulfield. Oh, holding into some it's about um, adolescence growing up. Oh, fun. Yeah, I don't know that one. Sorry, guys. Uh, to Kill a Mockingbird. This is one of my dad's favorite movies. Uh-huh, and it's... I have watched it with my dad and I have read that book and I don't remember what it is. I know there's a child. I even I even remember doing a report on it. And it's on like, Broadway right now. I remember doing like a whole report on it and like writing a diary. A scout is the kid's name Scout. Yes, it is. I remember like remaking like a diary of scouts and like <clears throat> in high school mm-hmm. and like distressing it and making it look all vintage and like doing the coolest book report on it. And I could not tell you what it's about, yeah. but I remember making that diary. From I'm sure scouts. I did a book report on it too. And uh, it was so cool. And I got an A plus plus plus. Cause it was like, I was so creative with how I did it. And I don't know what it's about at all. I know that there's a courtroom. Oh, okay. And that's all I know. You did way better at this game than I thought. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's actually, smart. it's on, as a play, it's on Broadway right now with Jeff Daniels. Uh, and I, it was the one thing when we were in New York that I, w- I wanted to go see. But like when I was there, it had just opened uh, with you. When you were in Waitress and like the tickets were like. What's it's it crazy about? to me that they're you like, oh, about? $700 to watch this play. And, you know. Do you know what it's about? Yeah, it's about like racial injustice and like uh, there is a court case. Mm-hmm. Um, we need to we need to take a minute to pick up Mr. I mean, Wesley it's, over it's here. It's very deep. There's a lot more that it's about. Scout's diary that was distressed. I made it out of brown paper bags and I crumpled it all up and then uncrumpled it up and burnt the edges and like taped stuff in it. And I went wild. You're very crafty. Very crafty. A plus for crafts. Clearly didn't Did, work though. Didn't I don't read remember. The book. I didn't read the book at all. Um, we're going to take a second to pick up Wesley because he's waking up and he needs some snugs. All right. We took a second to uh, grab Wesley and then Maisie woke up. So now we have Maisie and Wesley and they're both grumpy and hungry. So this podcast might not last too much longer. They're not hungry though because they just ate. Well, I don't know. That seems like they're always hungry. Um, But Flynn popped in while we were grabbing Wesley and he said he wanted to podcast. So we tried to let him. So here's Flynn's four second podcast. Mike, can you do it by me? You want me to do it with you or are you doing it by yourself? I have to do it by myself. Okay, go for it. Flynn wants to do his own podcast. Go, Flynn, go. Okay. Let's keep it short. Um, 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 maybe you are so tiny, cold, right now, way to burn. Maybe you. There you go. There's Flynn's version of a podcast, I guys. That. So um, it basically was just him singing Maisie Joe for one second. And then oh, he's like, eh, I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, we are now holding both the babies. If you're just listening, uh, that's what's happening. And binkies are flying everywhere. Babies are snorting and sleeping, hopefully. 
And I don't know. I don't know what's going on, guys. This, it's going to take Ooh. us a long your, time to uh, give adjust. Me your, uh, give me your baby talk, love. How do you talk to a baby? Oh. Hi. Hi, sweet <laughs> baby. Hi, love bug. That's how I talk to babies. Oh. Um, Mine is, you know oh. Yeah, that is yours. Oh. Or you, come on, guy. Come on, guy. <laughs> no, I, I, I talk like how I feel like they, I'm like, how could they respond at this moment in time is how I talk mm-hmm. to them. Um, so now I feel like she could go, maybe go. Oh, yeah, she, they're uh-huh. so sweet. Uh-huh. Yeah, she goes, uh-huh. she does that a lot. Uh-huh. Anyway, uh-huh. Um, can you, I have a question for you because I, I realized this yesterday. I can tell them apart by their sounds. Yes. Like I'll be in another room and I'll be like, oh, there's Wesley. Oh, there's me. I can at this point. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. It was hard at, 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 at first it was first, hard. Yeah. But now it's like very obvious. They both just had very classic, um, Baby cries. Baby cries yeah. Hers has always been more angry. Hers is like a growl, like not a growl, mm-hmm. but just like a gur. Like it's like she's crying the word gur. And him, he's like a wild animal he's caught like, in a <laughs> trap. Yeah, he's like a more chaotic. It's visceral. Yes. Um. Yes, I can't tell him apart. Yes. She's falling asleep. Yeah. She's falling asleep. Oh, sweet. Oh, I can't see if Wesley is. I don't think he is. Anyway, oh, no. what a fascinating podcast episode. <laughs> you know, people are saying they like it better on the bed. A lot of comments are saying they like it. When I'm we not going to argue with them if they're like, can you just podcast? I know from we your should bed? be doing it from our bed. Can we do that next week? Who said that? A oh, lot I guess of comments. You the comment. They're like, we yeah. liked it better when you were just in bed. But they didn't say we liked it better just on the episodes where we're in the bed. They're like, we really like it with you guys in the bed. It's a more chill, relaxed vibe. It's fun. Like they really like it. And we're like kind of delirious. They're like making fun of the fact that like they're really those chaotic episodes. episodes also, are so like delirious. you miss those episodes where they're like two in the morning. Yeah, I think one was like four in the morning. I don't think that's true. There's um, Eric's concept of time. You I don't guys are hearing right time. now. Eric, Eric always. I've talked about this uh, in the podcast before. He is. I'm sorry about the book so game. Dramatic. I thought that would be funnier. What was your? Did you have a favorite book? Please we let talked it be Twilight. about this in bed. We talked about this. Oh, and remember, I said I loved the book Redeeming Love a long oh, time ago. Right. <laughs> that was last, no, I loved Twilight. I genuinely loved Twilight. I would peg you for like a Twilight and like the secret kind of person no i've never read the secret but i bet i would love the secret honestly it's all about like manifesting right like manifesting goodness into your life i feel like i, I would so. be I super know. into that but um no i uh love twilight the first book and i loved the hunger games genuinely i loved them did you read those no yeah see i've read more did books did you read the harry you. potter books i wasn't allowed to ah i've sh- and now i'm thinking we for sure have already talked we about definitely this. have already had this conversation um well, but you know I'm what? Sorry, that's that what segment sucked it. It didn't suck like a it. binky. Um, but we have a very big special guest, surprise oh, special guest. I hate coming, when you do this, love. Uh, in the next segment, but like before no, we, we don't. get to our surprise special guest, let's uh talk about our next, sponsor, our next sponsor, which, which is, is which birds. I know is one I'm very excited about. Yes, all birds, all the birds. You know, I hear it's a lot of people's uh, New Year's resolutions to exercise more and go running a lot more. Now, we all know that I am not an exercising type of person, but if I were... I know the shoes that I would want to wear because holy smokes, this is the most comfortable shoe. It's like, it feels like I'm wearing a sock, but with the support of like the fanciest shoe in the world. Keep your feet warm and dry with the weather repellent wool dasher mizzle shoe from Allbirds. Don't let winter storms put a damper on your run. Grab a pair of the weather repellent wool dasher mizzles from Allbirds today. We actually walked today. We went on a walk this morning and it unexpectedly started raining. And Eric and I were both wearing our Allbirds and our toes stayed cozy warm. It was wonderful. They're also really awesome looking. Like they look super cool. Um, No joke today, we were waiting for our coffee and Eric looked at me and goes, your shoes look cool, man. I need to get those in mine in that color because we have different color ones. Um, And he wanted mine. Mine are maroon. They're super cute. And I love how easy they are to put on. Honestly, like it might be one of my favorite features other than the fact that they're super cozy and warm and really comfortable. Um, They're very easy to put on. They literally slip on like super easy, super cozy. Um, And as a woman who has a lot of children running around, I don't got time to untie the laces and loosen up the shoe and slide my shoe and foot in the shoe and then tighten the shoelaces and then tie it up and make sure it's, it's a pain. I don't have time for that. And these are so cozy and wonderful to just slide right on. They're awesome. I love them so much. Um, And like I said, I do not run 
Uh, that's not my jam, but if I were to run, these are the shoes I would choose. Allbirds printed the wool dasher mizzle's carbon footprint right on the shoe. So, you know, it's impact on the planet. Then they offset that footprint to zero to make it a carbon neutral product. Allbirds built the wool dasher mizzle using natural materials to have a low environmental impact. So you can break a sweat without breaking the planet. This winter, keep your feet cozy and dry with the All Birds Wool Dasher Mizzles. Discover your perfect pair at allbirds.com today. That's A-L-L-B-I-R-D-S dot com. Check it out. All right. I'm nervous for this because, okay, I just have to say that Eric is about to try to make me do an impression and it's not going to happen. He always is trying to make me do impressions. No, it's not an impression. It's not. No, I know it is because you did this with one of the like, you did this with that Olsen girl and you're like, oh, you're going to be It's not that. No, it's not that. Okay. Who's our special guest? Okay. We have a special guest this episode, guys. It's very exciting. (laughs) Is it (laughs) love? I hate you in the way you said that. Um, (laughs) There is... In the studio now, waiting right outside our studio, is one of the most famous YouTubers Love. in the world. She's been away from YouTube for a long time. I feel like uh, months. And now uh-huh. she's recently come back to YouTube. Oh, it is Miranda. You're making me and do Miranda. She's, it's and so she's, annoying. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but now she has promised the internet that she's going to come back every Monday with a new video. The let's hear it for the queen of YouTube, a YouTuber before the word even existed. The original, the queen Miranda sings herself is here. Come on in Miranda. Where is she? Come on in. I think you're doing it this time. Love. <laughs> What are you doing to me? Why are you making me do this? Oh, lovey. I don't think she's here. Oh, you're so bad at yes and. <laughs> like okay. the concept of yes and no, to I, you I'm just is, like, is I'm so just, lost. Like you're, uh, you've are you been forced into this situation lipstick. to do a character okay. that you've done for 10 hey guys, years. Hey Miranda. That was the worst Miranda I've ever heard. <laughs> Love. That sounded like, that literally sounded like our son doing it. <laughs> Rude to Flynn. Okay, fine. Where is no. she? Where is she, love? Oh, you're breaking the fourth wall like too much. <laughs> hey guys, it's me, Miranda. That does still doesn't sound like. Oh man, you've lost it. No, I haven't lost it. I just did not agree to this today. But you don't sound like Miranda when you do it. I know because I wasn't Miranda. Miranda is real. She's she's coming in right now. Oh God, you're not here. She do comes. It. Oh hey guys, it's me, Miranda. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'll do it for real. I I'm promise. not buying it at all. <laughs> I'll do it for you. Why did you want me? To, is there a reason you want me to do this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm being serious. Am I just talking to us, Miranda? Or do you have a game or something? Okay, I'll do it. I, 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 oh, I, I, hi. <laughs> 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 All right, never mind. I just no, kind of. I'll, I'll do. I'll do. I'll do. I'll do. I'll do I just kind of wanted to bring up the fact. That, I'll do, okay, I'll do. God, I mean, it was. Oh a, hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh hey, Miranda. Hi. What are you doing? Thanks for joining me and Colleen Ballinger in the studio today. He's a course. My plagiar. Um, I heard your your back. Uh, well, your, public, your, publicist, your publicist reached out to us. You guys are so unprofessional. I know we have two having babies. these obnoxious animals growl. Listen. <laughs> He's growling at me. I know. He is a he literal be, animal. He should not be just out and about allowed like this. He but should look at be. This one's sleeping and cute. I wouldn't say cute, but. Oh, gosh. Okay, anyway. Wait, when is do this you have one any questions stop? for her? I have no questions for Miranda. Oh, oh uh, that's. Oh, that's a shocker. <laughs> <laughs> that girl never has quenchings for me. So that's a real shocker. She has no quenchings. Uh, will your publicist reach out to us? I don't have a policy. Um. Maybe it was I literally mother? have no infections right now, so I don't know how you know that anyway. Right. <laughs> a publicist is, is someone who's An like infection. In, uh-huh. All right, let's make this quick. I got places to be, things to do. I'm a busy lady. Where do you have to be? Um, the bathroom, first of all. And What's that's that? none of your business. That's a violation of my HIPAA rights. <laughs> you asking about my personal medical business. What does HIPAA stand for? Well, they live in water, and they're gotcha. actually one of the most dangerous animals, I think, on the planet. What's I'm that pretty padding sure. sound I'm hearing? Uh, you don't want to know. Is that your microphone? You did not, again, violating my HIPAA rights. Um, so you're back on YouTube. Yes, I Where think. were you? Where were you? 
I was been busy. It had been a while since you posted a video. I was busy. Doing what? I can't just be making videos all the time. Was it like my job or something? Like, what? no, I have to take a break from here and there. What were you doing? I was busy doing things. I wasn't feeling good. Uh -huh. I was throwing up a lot. And my tummy was very swollen. Uh -huh. So I was just getting pretty sick and just couldn't really do it. But I don't know why you're asking me all these questions. What happened at the end of that? How did at that, the end of what? How did that resolve itself? What? Your, uh, you said you seemed like you were really sick and that. Yes, I was sick. Uh huh. What's the quenching? And then what, what happened at the end? At the end of what? Did you get better? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Am I sitting here with you right now? Yeah. Of course I'm uh, better. I'm well, just making sure you weren't like contagious at this point. Like, have you been, have you been, uh, vaccinated Miranda? What's a violation of my HIPAA <laughs> rights. Of course so I've been vaccinated. Won't... Oh, you are. Of course. Okay, good. Kidding me? I got all my vaccinations. Are you boosted? Um, are you serious? Are you hitting on me now? Why? Hey. What? <laughs> <laughs> there is a single. <laughs> so, sorry, I'm. I can't help but laugh when Miranda's here. You know how it is. Yeah. There was. Sorry, it was hard for me to focus. There was a singular <laughs> hair floating from your mouth for five <laughs> minutes. It was distracting. I got it. It's right there. <laughs> Anyways, do you have any actual questions to ask me? Or are you just going to ask me about my personal health, which is in your business? Well, I just, I was going to ask you about how, what it's like coming back. Like, you know, I was, I was giving you a platform to promote your, uh, YouTube channel. Okay. Oh, and God. It, <laughs> you're boring me so much. Mm -hmm. Um, well, it's been really hard actually. Yeah. Cause every single Monday I have to post a video. Uh -huh. So it's a really lot to work for me, especially now. Can you not kick my cords and the camera? Who's watching guy, all your children? And now you're kicking the lights. Who's watching all your children when you Who record said these I have videos? Children? Oh, I, I don't have assumed. children. I just had a one? big, an, well, I have pinto bean and then I had a big poop and two babies came out, but that doesn't mean oh. they're, they're technically not my children because I was they never come pregnant. Oh, I'm assuming my butt. <laughs> <laughs> um, so pinto bean and what are their names? The other children? We're still working on names. Who's we? Me. <laughs> <laughs> Me, myself, and I. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. Who's the father of the... Violation of hippo rights. Okay. I'm Jake. Um, but we're working on it. When we're you say hippo rights, you don't know what hippo means, right? I do. It's one of the most dangerous animals that yeah. lives in, I think it lives in Africa. Uh-huh. In swamps. Maybe in I Florida. I think maybe the deadliest animal Florida on the planet. Florida has swamps, right? It does, yeah. Um. So, yeah, probably Florida. Uh, yeah, yeah. Everything like that comes from Florida, I would assume. Um. But, yeah, anyways, Um. so i just been really busy. I'm trying to figure out what to do with these, all these babies that I pooped. And now <laughs> I'm trying to figure out names because apparently you have to name them. Uh -huh. So... Do you have the any? The first I one mean, I named Pinto Bean. I was thinking Mother Beans. Okay. Because you know there's uh, Fava, <laughs> Lima. <laughs> there's uh -huh. Refried would be has a oh, nice ring to refried. it. Refried. Yeah, there's well, lots. Refried um, Sings would be the last name. Is Sings no, is, they would is not Sings take a my stage name. name, or is that your actual last name? That's none of your business. And also, no, of course they would not have the honor of having my last name. They would just have like, they would just be like Cher or Ma Madonna. Yeah, they just have they just, the one name. Just a Bean. Just a bean. Yeah, their last name is Bean. Well, speaking of beans, I'm pretty hungry. So I got to go. I can't just sit here and talk to you about beans. You know, I have things to do, places to be. And also, I'm not going to give you the exclusive of my baby's names. So people want to hear that. They should go to. They should go to my YouTube channel. You think people who are watching your dumb podcast don't know who I am? <laughs> Obviously, they know who I am. What is your YouTube channel called? Are you kidding me? It's called Miranda Scenes. Of course. So anyways, I got to go. Um, I don't really like children and there's a lot of babies in this room right there now. There are, yeah. And I don't like them. Um, I don't like babies at all. They're really gross to me. Thanks. So. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Colleen, did you have any questions? You've been awfully quiet not. during this I, interview. I don't. I think we should go check on our babies, honestly. Yes. Why don't you do that? Yeah. Well. All right. Thanks for listening, everybody, to this chaotic episode of Relax the Podcast. 51. Maybe 52 will be in our bed. Hell. Hey Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening, everybody. We love you so much. We do. See you next week. Bye. You can relax. Colleen and Eric have a podcast. The world is scary and we're locked in our home. But now we have big microphones. So you can relax. That's the name of our podcast.